What is going on guys? Welcome back. Chantal and Sala have done a couples vlog. This is the one she was working on that has six ads embedded in it. The Muslim couple visit the Sanctuary of Truth in Pattaya, Thailand. She's created now a 24 second intro for the couples channel. So maybe you would think we'd get a little bit less filler content, but spoiler, we don't. Sala narrates the background of the Sanctuary of Truth to start this. We then cut to foodies, very different narration, audio levels are different, background noise is different. Little things like this matter to the quality of what you're making. They cite they bought tickets online and there is a delay when doing that. So from a vlogging perspective, it's just strange to see someone openly project the lack of proper planning and then fill through with B-roll of wildlife, the waiting area, petting a stray cat, all things that could have easily been completely removed and we would have never known that there was a delay for their improper planning. At the two minute mark, they get into the truck to take them to the sanctuary and they constantly talk about how it's incredible and just an amazing place yet. To this point in the vlog, we've seen very little of it. We do see Chantal though needing help getting both in and out of the truck. And I must say there's something poetic about seeing Sala in a super dry shirt while Chantal is soaked in sweat. They state that they're going to go in, but don't edit this properly and find themselves in yet another waiting area. We then see the sanctuary in the distance. Chantal cites she needs refreshments. She covers the menu with her paw. Waisala says, what you want to drink, baby, in the absolute, literally just like I did in the most scripted way. We then get absolutely needless videos of the drinks being made with riveting content like, here is your drink, baby, and they're making yours now, followed by, I can't wait for my juice. A and I mean, Sala almost looks as her at her as if he is wanting her approval of the script while holding his drink. He, he almost looks at her like, was that okay or do we need to do it again? We then cut away to Sala getting a hat, making a Mortal Kombat reference, dealing with more goats. Chantal wishes they had more time to be with these animals. We have now went a third of the way through this vlog, and we have yet to see what they're there to cover. Sala is forced to cover his legs to enter, which again, a little bit of research, we would have known that modest dress was needed, but again, we're showing our own inability to properly plan or understand what we're doing. We then see Chantal sitting beside other people in a van. And this is where the whole one plane seat debate becomes an absolute joke. Because she cannot sit there without invading other space. And of course, even this short little ride cannot be done without her reaching up and needing a fan or air conditioning. They are provided hard hats to go in. This video at this point has had three ads, by the way. And we get there to more riveting commentary like... This structure is even more impressive up close. It's truly, truly breathtaking. I'm serious. That that's the line. That's what that's what they said. More impressive up close. Chantal then believes it is comical that she is told to use a lift. They literally have to put her in an elevator to lift her up to this place. I I can't make this up. She thinks it's funny that she wasn't allowed to take the steps. Maybe because of her size, maybe because of her weight. Sala wanted to go in with her, but they wouldn't let him. So he has to walk up the stairs. And Chantel just loves being the elevator queen. We then learned that this has been under construction since 1981. The idea was to portray important Eastern religious concepts while providing peace and inspiration. And this is followed immediately with her and Sala talking about how, quote, cute they are. We then get more very poor narration about how they did not come here to learn. That's a direct quote, by the way, just to admire the structure because it conflicts with their beliefs. There have now been four ads in this video, and she clearly felt the work going into this should equate to the number of ads that will be placed. We then get more reiteration. They're not going to discuss anything from a religious perspective, and we're told this is broken down quite simply into four halls, each of which pay homage to a different philosophy. Now, you may notice when watching this, they seem to be the only ones posing in the museum. Chantal struggles to breathe whenever she needs to speak into the camera, and for whatever reason, Sala continues to touch everything. And I mean everything, 
while wondering out loud how long this took to do. Of course, we then see Chantal complaining about the heat while sitting on a bench. We get poses from Sala mixed with shaky handheld footage. Chantal then feels the need to touch the woodwork, and we start to close with, You are so beautiful, baby. While Chantal giggles, thanks him, and looks at the floor. The reason this is so unnatural is because this is actually cut into the scene this way. When you're watching it, you can actually see that he turns on the camera, says, you are so beautiful, baby, gets her response and then cuts the camera right off. Like, it's not natural. It's not like they're going out and they're looking at these things and he just, you know, gets a glance out of her in his eye and, and looks over and lovingly says, you look beautiful today. You're the most beautiful person in this museum. Instead, it's, you are so beautiful, baby. I mean, this got edited in. We then end this with more comments like, impressive wooden statues, it's like a gorgeous castle. So, listen, for all the videos that she had done that were getting better, and listen, when there's things to champion, there's things to champion. This video was progressively a step back. The last couple ones, I think the last two really, adding in the pizza place, have been some of the worst content she's made. I, I don't know if it's a rush to get content out. I don't know if the fact that they're stuck in the hotel room factors into it. I don't know if her going live saying she's bored with editing and just wants to get it over with. But I stress to you, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for the two of them. She clearly sees the struggle she has because imagine going somewhere and being told, we're sorry, you have to take a lift to the top of this. That just blows my mind. But that's where she is. And rather than sit there and take all the time, all the creativity, and put it into this project, it just seems like you're 1130 the night before a project is due, and you're trying to throw everything together to make it look like you spent time on it when everyone watching it or will view it sees that you didn't. And that's the real shame. She has nothing else to do other than eat with her day right now. She can literally be a full-time content creator, yet she continually takes time to lower the quality of her content, see the decrease in her views, see the decrease in the interactions, and ultimately is going to make it where this channel is completely irrelevant to making the money. And obviously, she's already thinking about other options with making the ASMR channel a cooking channel, which, to be honest, with her tastes of food, like ketchup on pizza, I don't know how many people are really going to be watching that, because let's be honest, her food content isn't known for the quality of food. It's not known for the diversity of food. It's known for the amount of food. You know, this is someone that went to a foreign land and has spent more time getting meals from 7-Eleven than actually getting actual meals from that culture. So why we think all of a sudden we're going to become this incredible chef with these amazing ideas and these delicious meals just doesn't seem realistic. And not to mention her cleanliness throughout this entire trip has been called into question, boil or not. Her clothes at this point look extremely unkept. Everything they have looks unwashed. And I can't imagine that anytime she's around people, it's not noticeable that something is off with the two of them. Love to know your thoughts on this. Appreciate you watching this video. You know I will be back, unlike clean clothes, on Chantal, as soon as I can, with more content.